Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you a very popular music video effect that you may have seen in ASAP Rocky's ASAP Forever music video. Since then it's been used a lot in music videos so I thought I'd make a tutorial on this. I'll be using Premiere Pro but you don't have to. Any video editor that allows you to mask out objects will work with this tutorial. If you guys enjoy this video and want more tutorials like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here I have an example um, that I made. It's pretty seamless. The only thing is you can see the screen changes from like this background to a blue background, which is actually this clip. There's a way to make it more seamless, but it takes much longer. So I'm actually going to show you the simple version of doing it. So we're going to reset this. So let's just say we have two clips, right? So we have these two. You want to find a clip that has some sort of shape in the background, whether this is a door or a window. In this case, it's a screen, so it's even better. Even in this clip, it has screens in the back. What you want to do is you want to put the second clip under the first clip. And so basically the ending of the first clip is going to act as the transition. So let's just say you want to start the transition here. You're going to cut here. You're going to click on this, right click, press add frame hold. Basically what that does is it freezes it. And now what we want to do is we want to go to effect control. If you don't see it, it'll be under window effect controls or shift five. You want to go under opacity and you want to mask out whatever object. So in this case, it's this rectangle. So I'm going to zoom in right here. I'm going to press H for the hand tool so I can move around. Then press V if I want to use the pen tool. And then we're just going to mask out this. So boom, you can see the edges are too soft. So what you can do is lower the feather. Boom. So if we zoom out, the screen's there. You actually want to invert it. Now you can see the screen looks pretty normal. Um, the edges are a little bit soft still, so we can even lower the feather even more. So there you go. Now what you want to do is you want to set keyframes for a scale and position for where they currently are. And then you want to just scale in a lot and adjust the position so that it goes through that cut. And then you want to move those keyframes towards the end. Another way you can do this is you can just scale in a bunch, press on the motion uh, text right here or anywhere along this line and you can actually move it. So let's just say that, move this toward the end. And now if you play it, it does this. And you can see it's kind of quick. If you want to make it a little bit longer, you can actually move this frame and stretch it out and you can move the keyframes accordingly. So move it outwards and you can see what that does. Like I mentioned before, this isn't the most seamless way just because the background of that rectangle changes. So if you actually wanted to have the background as this video the entire time, what you would have to do is you wouldn't use a screenshot. You would actually use the entire clip over here. You would go to your pen tool and you would do the same thing you did, except you want to mask it out for every single frame. So, so let's just say we have the first frame, right? We're at the very beginning right here. So you would want to set a keyframe right at this point and then press the right arrow key and then adjust it a little bit then click it again, adjust a little bit more and more. Let me invert this so it's a little bit easier to see. So right here, it's fine, right? You go right a little bit and you can see that the side shows. So what you would want to do is you want to click on the mask and you would want to change it a little bit. And you would want to do that for every single frame. So you can see like toward the end, the left side is showing and you would have to do that for the whole clip. So this uh, background should be showing the whole time. But let's just say, obviously this video isn't very long. It's only this long. You can actually screenshot or add a frame hold to the beginning of this. So right click, add frame hold and stretch it all the way here. And basically what that does is it'll have a consistent background the whole time and then the video will start later on. But yeah, if you wanted to have that consistent background the entire time and not just when the transition happens, you have to 
mask out every single frame starting from like back here so back here you would have to press on mask path find that rectangle make it smaller like this and keep and keep pressing the right arrow key and adjusting it so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out if it did hit the thumbs up button my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one